on the Series 1 just to get all of the Ford Fair grime and just basically 250 miles worth of dirt off the car. I know cleaning gods and I'd never like to put cleaning stuff in vlogs but here we are. We also have today a guest appearance from this. Now if you don't know anything about this, please go on the channel and look up this van. It's something that they've been building at JW. A couple of friends have been building this for the last couple of years. And it's actually back here to get a few more things done. And then hopefully we'll see a start of this in the not so distant future. So very, very exciting to see that. It's nice to see it actually back out, if that makes sense, because it was sat at someone's yard for a bit. But now, hopefully, We'll get a bit of content on that in the not so distant future. But today, we actually take the Series 1 to an American car meet. Now, I know that's not something that I would usually vlog because I love American cars. So we're going to uh, go and see some Americana today, which I'm really, really excited for. And uh, Series 1, I know it's not an American car, but it's the only car I have running and driving at this present time. My Cadillac is, of course, in build process. So we'll be taking that maybe next year. But today, we'll take the Series 1. It's cool to see this here, though. Oh, have I just locked it? Nope, unlocked, there we go. <laughs> Good old Clifford. It's interesting doing so many miles in, uh, just put you guys on the dash. Doing so many miles in a car like this, it was a pleasurable experience. Oh, hello. The old Nipsey Hustle there, love it. Windows down, sunroof open. You can't drive this car without the sunroof open. I've knocked the mirror as well, have I managed that? Lovely, and the rear quarter windows have to be open. Hold on, I can't get to him through the driver's seat. <laughs> The unwritten rule, in my opinion, of RS Turbo ownership is always having the pop-outs open, if you've got pop-outs. Some of them didn't come with pop-outs, but if you've got pop-outs, have the pop-outs open. Right, let's roll. So guys, I have uh, <laughs> just been invited to have a look around a car and I had to show you guys this. So this is what we're basing today's video around. I did sort of know that this was uh, something I may be looking at today, but very vague on the knowledge. It is what it is. I'm gonna try and show you guys as much as possible. It's not necessarily a barn find, but it has been set up, oh sorry, for um, a while. And if I don't capture this bit of content now, then yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna see it again, maybe. I'm not gonna get invited to see it again. So, <laughs> in the back of this random garage is in fact, sorry about the noise if you can hear it, there is an RS2000, believed to be uh, in this owner's possession for the last, I'd say maybe 10 to 15 years. Hasn't really seen the road much, but I wanna go around it with you guys and show you as much as I can, because this is so, so cool. It has a bit of uh, dust and stuff on it, as you can see. It actually has a roll cage in the back with harnesses that look like they go to the original seat, something that you would have done back in, you know, maybe the 80s, 90s, maybe even early 2000s. Let's try and show you guys as much as possible because this is honestly the coolest little find I've seen in ages. Now it looks in pretty good condition. The owner was saying, you know, there is a few bits that he wants to assess, that's why it's here. And there's loads of little bits that he wants to get right until it actually sees the road. But of course, life, family, kids, houses, you know, building houses, whatever's going happening, obviously gets in the way sometimes. And yeah, it is just an absolutely stunning, even got the keys with the tags on there. Just try and go around. There's so much stuff in this little garage. 
Yeah, genuine harnesses from God knows when. Look at them, that is so cool. Fishnet headrests as well. On what looked like, I hope you guys can see this, brown seats. They look brown, I think they are. It looks to be, or I've been told, it is a genuine RS2000 as well, which is really, really cool. It's got the, seems like it's got the right things, and I'm sure someone in the comments can tell me that I'm very wrong, but it looks like it's pretty genuine. Of course, I can't go too in depth because this is someone's car. It's their, you know, a pride and joy for for someone. This is as we come around the front. Big old rally fog lights on the front of it. Look at that. That is so cool. Again, trying to get as much as I can. Again, trying to get as much as I can for you guys. It's like windscreens. There's a mini over there. Really, really cool little mini. Actually, sat like loads of stuff on it. Yeah, that is just cool. Let's look at the wheels. Yeah, that is just the coolest thing. Sunroof as well, again, someone in the comments can tell me if they came with sunroofs, not too sure. My knowledge on this era of Ford stuff isn't there. You know, 80s, 90s maybe, early 2000s, yeah, but haven't had too many dealings with these, which is a bit of a shame. It's even got some toggle switches in the center, which is pretty cool. Custom there, plaque, clock. What's that on there, that's cool. Ford gear knob yeah what a lovely thing it's obviously been well whether it's been raced or rallied or not it's another matter I'm not too sure again the owner this owner doesn't know either but it's got a cage and everything as I've shown so it might have been maybe a competition car at some point I'm not even sure but I don't actually know if that's ever been you know enjoyed in that sense yeah, pretty cool. I won't go under the car because obviously there is a reason why this car is sat here. Um, I believe it, it still have the original Pinto engine in it as well. Of course, we won't open it up. It's not my car. I won't get too in-depth of it. And yes, if anyone <laughs> wants to know, I have asked if it's for sale. Uh, it's not for sale, unfortunately, which is a bit of a shame. But what a hell of a thing. What a thing to find randomly in the back of a garage. Also, you guys may have seen and you may have noticed there is a car above it fully torn down ready to be painted i think he was saying or sandblasted xr3 very very cool we'll show you guys a bit of this you pretty much see everything as we are here but pretty torn down in a sense as to a rolling chassis ready for engine work to be done just try and get past this because oh, yeah look at this engines out of it yeah that's really cool Quite a lot of parts it says he's got all of the parts still for this as well but it's at this stage because they were putting what looks to be floor pans and stuff in it which they've got to a point and he said you know what i want to sandblast the whole car make it mint so that's why it's up on the ramp now yeah really really cool genuine xr3 super cool find to show you guys uh two very very really honestly just fantastic cool cars regardless if they're sat here it's cool to just see them in the wheels yeah so cool and hopefully i was just talking to the owner hopefully this car and this car so both cars should be seeing some sort of action you know use maybe or at least some build in the next couple of months maybe a couple of years we'll try and really visit this as soon as possible if these cars ever do come to fruition or if they ever come up for sale. But what a cool find. Yeah, that is just, you know when someone says, and I, and I love doing this, you know when someone says, oh yeah, I've got a couple of cars around the back actually, do you wanna kind of have a look? I, it sparks my interest straight away every single time. And then to find these two here, and the Mini as well. The Mini is on another level. It's absolutely mint for the Mini guys out there. It has been fully painted. He's getting loads of stuff powder coated. That is uh, an ongoing process as well. But what a cool little garage and what a cool little find. Just like that, we're back home. 
thank you so much to the owner for letting us look around that RS2000 today. Insane car. Uh, the XR3, of course, above it is really, really cool. Um, talking to him about values and just what he thinks it's worth and various little bits and bobs. I'd love to own something like that. It's so, so cool. And I'm so glad I got the opportunity to show you guys it more than anything. And that sort of content I want to you know, produce is cool stuff like this. So if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much to our patrons who are supporting the channel on a daily basis. Link is in the description to the Patreon if you would like to see this video early as well as every other video, including early access to pictures and just patron only content that I'm now making on the platform. But we'll leave today's video there. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.